Test strips are an easy and instant way to measure your pool's water chemistry, but only if you know how to use them correctly and know how to read them. So here is a quick guide on how to use pool test strips and what to do with the results. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to check out our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, here's how you test your pool water. While you can dip a test strip directly into the pool, the most accurate way to get a water sample is by collecting water from the deeper end of the pool. Dip an empty glass elbow deep into your pool and make sure it's upside down. Then turn it right side up to collect your water sample. Now you can dip your test strip in the water in the glass. Remove the test strip and wait at least 15 seconds for the results to appear. Don't wipe or shake the test strip and do not touch the test squares on the strip with your fingers. Then hold the strip up to the color chart included on your bottle. Now here's how to read your pool test strip results. Most levels are measured in PPM or parts per million and each test strip brand may be slightly different. But here's what you'll find on a standard test strip. One, total hardness. Your total hardness measures the amount of calcium in your water. This level affects your pool equipment and surfaces over time so you don't have to worry about balancing it before swimming. And if you have a smaller pool that you take down after the pool season, then you don't need to worry about this level. Your total hardness should be between 175 and 275 parts per million. Two, total chlorine or total bromine. Your total chlorine is the amount of free and combined chlorine in your water. Your total chlorine should be around three parts per million and as close to your free chlorine reading as possible. We'll get to why in a second. Three, free chlorine. Your free chlorine measures the amount of chlorine that's available and actively sanitizing your pool water. Your free chlorine should be between one and three parts per million, with three parts per million being ideal. Your total chlorine levels minus your free chlorine levels gives you your combined chlorine levels. That's the chlorine that's been used up in your water. It should be as close to zero as possible, but less than 0.5 parts per million. When your combined chlorine levels are high, your chlorine isn't as active and you may notice a chlorine-like smell in the water. If you need more help understanding your total free and combined chlorine levels, be sure to check out our other video. Four, pH. Your pH measures how acidic or how basic your water is. Imbalanced pH can not only damage your pool equipment and cause irritation for swimmers, but it can stop your chlorine from working effectively. Your pH should be between 7.4 and 7.6. This level is important to balance before you adjust your chlorine. And if you want more information about what order to add your pool chemicals, check out our other video. Number five, total alkalinity. Your total alkalinity prevents fluctuations in your water's pH levels. Your total alkalinity should be between 100 and 150 parts per million. We recommend keeping it higher because the presence of alkalinity helps keep your pH in range. Number six, cyanuric acid, also known as CYA or stabilizer. Cyanuric acid helps stabilize your chlorine and protect it from being destroyed by the sun's UV rays. Without it, the chlorine levels in an outdoor pool will quickly drop. Your cyanuric acid level should be between 30 and 50 parts per million and a bit on the higher side for saltwater pools. And that's it. If you need more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.